What is up, guys? Welcome to episode 7 of Scary TikToks with St. J. Let's just dive in and see where these videos take us. Was on Google Earth and I found something. Watch till the end. Is it going to be something on Antarctica? Okay. Portal to a new world. How is it a portal? It's There's clouds above the land. What is that? What is what is that? It's like the earth has a bump on it. Or uh what is it? Uh It's like the earth has a like a blister on it. There we go. That's what I'm thinking of. That is That's weird like a little bubble. A little weird bubble. Weird. Ooh, random nautica. They shouldn't be splitting up. This is it right here. This is our spot. This is the exact spot on the random nodding. What is it? What the f This is the exact spot? This is the exact spot. <gasps> it's a freaking memorial? What? Why? What did they try to go to? This is so strange. Oh, that is creepy. Who, anyone here, has anyone here done Random Nautica? I have not, uh, too afraid to. But if anyone has, let me know what your experience was down in the comments. Oh, what is that, a hand? Oh, that's like literally like, whoa. Like, like the Grim Reaper. That looks crazy. I wonder where that is. Does anyone know where that is? Did it say where it was? Okay. I don't see the... What is it? You see it? What is it? I didn't see anything. Is that Tinkerbell? Aren't fairies supposed to be like super evil? It wasn't, isn't that a thing? Uh, could, I mean, could it be? I don't know. It looked like one, but who knows? Who knows, really? My GF has an ex who passed away in an unsolved accident. Today she told me about how kids often keep trophies. Should I be concerned? Yes, yes, you should be very concerned. You should be very concerned. You should break up with her, and you should move to Iowa or wherever the farthest away is from her. She looks terrifying. Like, look, she had a tooth. She had a tooth. And then a screw. What's the screw from? Is it from the tooth? Mom? What you doing? the door now is it in here what's in there oh my god oh my god oh i hate that i hate that video i hate it no not clowns Kenzie? not clowns what the heck Kenzie? what are you doing uh, i just don't like clowns what the heck 
I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. I mean, I don't know about you. I don't have kids, but if I did, they were dancing with a clown. I I think the the surge of adrenaline would turn me into a superhero, and I I would try to fight them. I might die. No. I don't like this. Oh, we don't even get to see what she looks like. Oh, we saw the shadow. Oh, that's creepy. You're just uh, middle of the night. You hear that voice. What do you do? Let me know. This has to be one of the scariest videos I've ever seen. No ghosts, no spirits. Real life. Okay. A young female real estate photographer was taking photos for her job one day. She happened to be in an occupied house. The resident began following her around. She says this wasn't unusual, so she didn't think anything. I wouldn't like it, that. Until she started noticing multiple locks on certain doors, and even a camera pointed toward one of these doors. When she goes upstairs, a man comes out of one of the rooms. What happens next is straight out of a horror film. You have to see the video for yourself. Okay, so I took pictures of this house, um, and this guy was following me around like the whole time, um, which isn't unusual, but he was a little bit strange, and there was like six people living in this house, and it's a hoarder house, but I also noticed they have like three locks on the door, and then down here they have locks, and then going up here, hmm. they have a camera and it's facing this door. Anyway, a roommate comes out of this door and he asks them if he should lock the door and kidnap me. And I said, immediately, people know where I am. And then he laughed and said, no one would ever hear from you again. Bro, I did not even no. finish this fucking house. I immediately left. I was like, no, dipped. Get the fuck out. Um, you can see me right there. Hello. But yeah, pretty sure I maybe almost got kidnapped. But I don't. Oh, I don't you remember. almost for sure got woman, kidnapped. If you've ever had any close calls like this? Let me know in the comments below. We need to spread awareness that things like this really happen. Oh man, that's like some real fear. Oh, you're just doing your job and almost get kidnapped by six crazy people. That's not good. That's not good. I wonder where that was. I wonder, like, what state it was in. Ooh. No, no, no. Boy, did this kid pick a good night to have his phone out filming. In 2008, a teen decided he wanted to film himself playing the very creepy midnight game. In a nutshell, you turn off all the lights in your house and you walk around from midnight to 3.33 a.m. And if at any point you stop moving, the midnight man will attack you. Like that. Around 2 a.m., the kid thinks he hears something in the kitchen, but he also thinks his mind's just playing tricks on him because he is playing this game. But he goes to check it out anyways. When he gets downstairs, he doesn't hear anything, but he does see that his door is now open. And when he goes to shut it, someone pushes back. <laughs> He sprints away, uh, goes upstairs, jumps into his room, but keeps filming. Oh my god. Ugh. Ah, Mr. Ballin got me. Oh. No, I did not like that. I did not like that. I did not like that at all. That was scary. Oh, those jump scares. Oh, they just get me. They get me. My, the hairs on my, my leg are like standing up like crazy right now. Just, oh, uh, that was scary. Well, thanks guys for sticking around for episode 7. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!